Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to have a quick video for you guys. I've recently joined a new book club, which is Love Between the Pages, which is the Penguin Random Houses book club, which I started doing. I've noticed in like the last year or so, I've moved on from reading a lot of young adults. So I'm pretty excited to join a book club that is going to have uh, a lot of adult fiction in it. And I'm really excited to see what books they've chosen. But this is a big box and I'm interested to see what is actually inside of it. So to start off, we've got a few information pages about the actual book club itself. Um, it just talks about what books they've chosen for it and a few other things that are going to be included in this month But I don't want to read it yet because I want to see what else we've got before I give it away So we've got a large calendar piece here um, So the January book of the month is The Cottage at Rosella Cove This one is by Sandy Docker um, Then we have one by Sophie Kinsella which I've read a few of her books and I actually really like it They're really fun and easy books to read So it's her new one which is called I Owe You One And then the March one is Starcross by Minnie Dark And I've actually heard some really good things about that book so so I'm pretty keen to read those. See, I was not expecting this. Like, I thought that if I was going to get anything, it was just going to be the books. But there's actually some really cute little things in here. So first up, we've got this Penguin Books mug. It has Vile Bodies by Evelyn War on there. And this one, it's so cute. I'm someone who constantly is drinking tea or hot chocolate, so I'm pretty keen to have that. We've also got a Love Between the Pages bookmark and this little Penguin one as well. This is so cute. We have a card holder. Um, it's got the Penguin Books classic cover for The Lost Girl by D.H. Lawrence. And I'm going to need that. I'm someone who constantly loses my cards because I just, I don't have any sort of system for keeping them. And then we also have the January book, which is The Cottage at Rosella Cave. This is a stunning cover as well. I really love the books on it and the birds too. It's like some of my favorite things. So the first person in this cottage is Nicole. She's left the big city life and she's now gone to this little town in Rosella Cove. And as she's in this cottage that she's chosen to stay in, she starts to find a few things and she realizes that she's not the first inhabitant of this cottage at Rosella Cove. Then there is also Ivy whose quiet life in Rosella Cove is tainted by the events of World War II with ramifications felt for many years to come but one night a drifter appears and changes everything. Perhaps his soul is the one she's meant to save. And then there is Charlie who is too afraid of his past to form any lasting ties in the cove. He knows he must make amends for his tragic days long ago but he can't do it alone. Maybe the new tenant in the cottage will help him fulfill a promise to find redemption he isn't sure that he deserves. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of emotions in this one but also really good and really interesting. And then we have Sophie Kim Kinsella's one, which is I owe you one, and this one is Fixie Far, Can't Help Herself. Straightening a crooked object, removing a barely there stain, helping out a friend, she has to put things right. It's how she got her nickname after all. So when a handsome stranger in a coffee shop asks her to watch his laptop for a moment, Fixie not only agrees, she ends up saving him from certain disaster. To thank her, the computer's owner, Sebastian, scribbles her an IOU, but of course, Fixie never intends to call in his favour. That is, until her teenage crush, Ryan, comes back into her life and needs her help, and Fixie turns to Seb. But things don't go according to plan, and now Fixie owes Seb. Big time. Soon, the pair are caught up in a series of IOUs, from small favours to life-changing ones, and Fixie is torn between the past she's used to and the future she deserves. Does she have the courage to fix things for herself and fight for life and love she really wants? At the moment, I am reading so much romance, so I'm probably going to be a sucker for that one, and I'll get around to it soon. So thank you so much for Love Between the Pages and Penguin Random House. I'm going to be participating in this every month, so you guys will be sure to hear me talk about this uh, quite often. And if you want to join in the book club, let me know, um, read the book, we can all chat about it, and it'll be really, really great. I will also be posting this on my social media, so check it out on there. All my links are down below, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!